Welcome back to Singer Dad Reacts. My name is Josh. Thank you all for your patience. Uh, for those that have been uh, watching the reactions on my channel, uh, I haven't had as many coming out recently. And as I mentioned in another reaction, part of that is because we're in the process of uh, moving to a different house uh, within our city here. So we've had a lot going on with that. We also have some things happening with our business um, on that side of it. So that's kept, kept me away. Um, been working on that all <laughs> through the course of this, of this weekend, actually. Um, so if, as I'm doing hand motions, if you see anything on my wrist here, so that's actually from, uh, doing all of the moving with the, our business stuff, uh, scratched up my, my arm that from that. So anyway, uh, I am doing a long-awaited reaction to Kim So Young's uh, "Everyone." So this is one that all of you uh, So Young fans have been asking for, and I'm excited to react to it and and to see her mastery. It sounds like it's one of the hardest songs that she's sung. So uh, I'm looking forward to that because she's already done some pretty incredible songs uh, from what I've reacted to. So I'm going to dive right in with the lyrics here as I do with my videos. If you're new to my channel, so I'm a classically trained vocalist and I really um, strive to to have the full experience with each of the performances where I have the lyrics and I go through the lyrics and I really you know, watch for the feeling that comes through and the storytelling aspect of the performance and the emotional uh, connection that comes through in the performance and things like that as well. So I'm not just here to kind of, you know, oh yeah, the, you know, do all these pre-canned kind of reactions um, that you might see with other reactors. So I'm a little bit different that way. That's that's my style. That's the way I work through the, the songs. But I, I do try to really, um, you know, hold the artist in the greatest respect and really um, empathize and um, factor in the work that they've done to get where they're at and to put in the performance that they do. So uh, I do try to really um, keep that in mind and, and uh, focus on that. So with that, this is everyone. And this one was kind of a hard one to find lyrics for. I don't know why, but if there's a repository that I'm not aware of, if you guys could put some more information about that in the comments, because I know she doesn't really have like a social media page. So a lot of these artists will have their own uh, channel or page. And then a lot of their lyrics, you know, you can find them there a lot of times, but with, uh, with so young, uh, she doesn't really have that. So, if you know of other places that I might not be aware of where I can find these types of things, that would be very helpful. So these are the, the lyrics that I got. Hopefully they're, they're somewhat accurate. I've gotten some comments from others that my lyrics are completely off on some of the songs. And again, I do my best to try and find the right ones. So if, um, if you all out there can help me on that front um, and guide me to where I can find the best translations, um, I'm doing my best. So... Thank you for your patience and and for your uh, subscribing and everything else. So everyone, if you are in distress, I'll comfort you. If you are sad, I will become a tear. When walking on a rough road in a dark night, I will be your lamp. When empty and lonely, I will be your friend. I am your eternal brother. I am your friend. I am your eternal song. I am your joy. When you walk through the valley of shadow, he said, I'll be the one, I'll be the one to be your cane. When you need someone to share your love, he said, I'll be the one to be your love. I'll be there, and then it repeats, so smile, and then that repeats, so you have faith, you should be tall. If you stay with me, passing through the night, take your faith, this is the way. We gonna go higher, I am your eternal brother, I am your friend, I am your eternal song, I am, I am your, I am your, I am your joy. So have faith, you should be tall, this is the way. And it repeats itself with the chorus there. When I'm lonely, who will comfort me? Everyone. I'm your eternal brother, I'm your friend. I'm your eternal song, I am, I am your. 
So hopefully that's close to the words. It looks like it's a, a spiritual song, actually, is what it looks like to me, a religious song. Um, and then from some of the comments on the video, because I, I read through a couple of the comments on the video itself, and it looks like um, that's what they were talking about, that there was some spiritual aspect to the song. So this this is good. Uh, as many of you would guess, I mean, I'm a spiritual person. I, I go to church and all that, and I don't really get into that on my channel, of course. But um, I do have my beliefs, and um, I try to keep my comments and my reactions universal. And I talk about maybe like a higher power and things like that. So it's more a general term for for a set of beliefs. But um, this is this is interesting. So again. I'm excited to uh, hear what So Young can do, and let's go ahead and get started here. thing I've noticed about her number one she's amazing she's incredible she has phenomenal control over her instrument I've said it before she can just pretty much do whatever she wants um, one of the things with this opening and sorry if I pause it in a bad spot I'll rewind it here but um, that I've noticed there are different parts where she you can kind of hear the emotion come through and this is one thing as a as a performer and as a vocalist um that you just kind of pick up on when you hear others performing because you've kind of dealt with it directly and so you kind of understand they have certain things uh, the way that the sound comes through or uh, but it, but it doesn't detract from the tone but you can you can hear the passion and and you can hear it really uh, if you've got good ears or you've listened to enough vocalists. You don't have to be a uh, a vocalist or a performer to hear it. But she definitely puts her heart into each of her performances, and that's part of what I love about her. And I've said that before about you know the types of performers that I love, and, and she's she's de the definition of of uh, of that as far as telling the story and starting off. You know with just introducing the, the story and the, the, the message behind what she's singing and then building it up and then and carrying it through to the end. But the other thing that I've noticed about her is that, and I've talked about it before, but her tone is just amazing. And it's part of it's because 
and you see me making this gesture, what that means is that she's very open. And I talked about the inside smile and one of my other reactions for, for her, and, but she really does that well as far as kind of, uh, you know, having the cheeks high. And what that does is it opens up your soft palate in the back, which allows the sound to come through, you know, with much more power. Uh, and she's really good at that. But yet her mouth's not open the entire time. But also when she's singing in a language maybe that doesn't have a lot of vowels, like Korean or whatever, she uh, makes the most of each time that she has some type of vowel sound. So that's going to make a big difference in the overall performance and, and, and the sound that comes through. So that's just something that I noticed there with her. But um, let me go back just a little bit here. that gospel element coming in a little bit. This is where she's like a lot of like people have compared her to like Whitney Houston and Celine and some of these others, but you can hear a lot of that coming through in the way that she's approaching this song, right? With some of the jumps and just the soulfulness behind what she's singing and the tone, the timbre that she's using. She's definitely she's definitely channeling them and yeah, that that's part of what tells you someone is really has a gift and is is very well trained is when they can just jump all around you know up into their head voice or whatever apply that mixed voice coming through which she does very well um she's she's able to really apply the 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 power of the chest voice into her head voice um very well up to a very high point in uh, the female range so it gives her a lot of freedom to do a lot of cool things with with her voice so let me go back a little bit here uh let's see maybe right here Breath control. Wow. <laughs> Listen to those runs. Oh, wow. Look at her face. Sorry. 
that's the other thing too and coming from the from the standpoint of a vocalist and a classically trained person that has sung a lot it's like it's still if you're if you're dealing with what people may call belting or going up into your head voice or applying your mixed voice to to your head voice whatever those things are the vocal instrument is like a muscle or uh, something like that right that that you use so imagine you've got just like when we've been moving and stuff right i feel like i'm just super sore and all that from exerting muscles and some of which are <laughs> some i haven't used in a while but you those muscles get tired and so for someone like so young part of what's impressive is that she's and this is a long song from what i'm aware of and she's just going for it and you know belting up into her head voice and using her mixed voice and all that through a huge section of the song here and so she's got to have a lot of stamina and a lot of power behind her voice to be able to do that consistently and with the power that she's putting into it you have to have a finely tuned instrument and very strong um, strongly developed um, you know diaphragm and all of that right she's she's a you know gold medal athlete type vocalist if you want to use an analogy to be able to do what she's doing right now and and she doesn't seem to be winning at all if anything she's probably going to you know get even better here uh and do more uh you know through the rest of the song but just so you know this is not normal this is not uh your average vocalist can't do what she's doing in any way shape or form she's amazing and i could go back and now that i've once I listen to this, I'll go back and I'm sure as I've done with a lot of her other songs and listen to it, you know, 10 times or whatever, just to kind of key in on certain things, but I won't do that here. I love to see the audience reacting to it. See that head voice there?
Okay. I didn't pause a whole lot there, but I want to go back a little bit. Wow. Sorry, guys. I don't want to make this long, but let me go back a little bit. Um, she covered a lot of ground on this. And as you probably saw, I mean, I was... I was getting emotional there because... She's been in a dark place. She's had, She's been through a lot. You know, I can't speak to how it is for someone to overcome cancer, but I mean, it's got to be very, very hard. She talked and she could see her getting emotional when she was talking about being in a lonely place. And that's, she may have some of those experiences in her life where she's had that loneliness and we've all experienced that at different times. And so it was just very touching, her performance and bravo to her for being able to power through it like that and, and allow the emotion to come through, but again, not allowing it to really take over. Um, and as I mentioned before, I mean, the proof to me as well for a performance is to look at the audience and their reaction. You know, when you see them emotional and you see them really just engaged and, and feeling it, that's a huge sign of the strength of that performance. So let me go back just a little bit here where she kind of gets emotional and there's that gentleman that got, that was really feeling it. Sorry guys. <laughs> Here's how she's just trying to get through it and not get emotional. She's having to kind of draw it in. I've been there. backed off right there. When I'm lonely, who will comfort me? It's you. that run just flips from head to chest effortless <laughs> I'm with you buddy Yeah, she just her whole heart's in it. Wow. It's a focal marathon right there. Look at these people. They love her. Yeah, so <laughs> let me get a little straight here. I can see why so many of you really wanted me to react to everyone that was, yeah.
it had it all. I mean, it had the feeling, the, the heartfelt emotion from something that really is dear to her heart, obviously. Um, this feeling of calling on a higher power, of calling on um, having faith in something that that you can't really see that's there to help you, a higher power, however you want to look at that. And also having the people you love around you, right? That's when she pointed and said, so you, everyone, right? Um, and I think that's part of what I can really tell from 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 seeing her performances and also just experiencing them for myself is that she really connects with her audience whether that's through YouTube um, on a video or especially I'm sure directly when you're in the audience and I've had some of you say that you when you go to the concerts it's just electrifying it's amazing to be there in her presence and, and have a live performance it's it really is a powerful experience and I'd love to be able to to at some point go and, and see her perform live to get you know to to get that experience to really have a comparison for myself and, and experience that so hopefully I'll be able to do that at some point but she really does connect with with the audience and she has the right combination of really putting her heart and soul into the performance and really doing some amazing things with her voice in the process but not doing it in a way where it's like I'm just here to show off for you and do these things so that you'll be impressed right that's not it's not her goal it's similar to Dimash right um, both of them their goal is the same their goal is to bring a powerful message an inspiring message entertaining message uplifting message whatever that message is it's one of those most likely communicate that with their audience and reach out and, and help others through the experiences they've had themselves and and through the music and the power of the lyrics help help those that are out there that are in need and and really lift um, the hearts of those that are are witnessing the performance so and that's awesome that's that's really what it's all about i've said that before um but yeah i mean what she did vocally in that song is is pretty mind-blowing i mean if you understand what it takes to do what she just did she really is just a master one of the best I've said that before in my reactions she's one of the best female vocalists out there no question just because of what she can do it's the whole package for me it's really the whole package she has the soul she can sing in different genres she can move freely throughout her entire range which is you know a lot pretty large range and like Dimash, she can actually apply the mixed voice high up in her range. So it gives that power all the way through. And her tone is, her I've mentioned it before, her pitch is dead on. Um, every note is dead on. Every note is completely right on with the pitch. And resonant and uh, her vibrato is is perfect. Yeah, she just, she has a beautiful instrument, and I could listen to her all day, pretty much. I really could. Um, I don't want to make this too long. I loved it. It was amazing. Um, I hope you all enjoy my reactions as much as I enjoy interacting with you and, and sharing this with you, my experiences with these amazing performers and, and kind of sharing their journey and and feeling of uh, of their hearts and, and who they are and but i have to say that 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 was very touching um to see her and to to think about you know what she's gone through and what's and what she's overcome and and what she stands for um 
I have the utmost respect for her as a person and I'd love to meet her at some point because and really thank her face to face for who she is and what she's trying to do with with the gift of music that she's been given because that's really with with the gift that I've been given which is nowhere close to any of these artists I react to I've always had a goal to to do the same with it to take it and to use it for good uh, in the world and to share that with others as much as I can in a way that is uplifting and, and, and helps them in some way um, so to see others doing that at a large scale like like so young and these others um, it's amazing and I love to be along for the ride so um, please continue to give me your suggestions for so young and the other artists that I react to in the comments and uh, let me know how I can improve my reactions. I'm always looking to find new ways to improve the experience for you because this is all about you as the viewer and and um, and so I'm trying to do my best for you. And I hope, as So Young was saying, that each of you has hope in your lives and each of you has some kind of higher power or some kind of support system in your life that provides you love and you have people around you that will lift you up and and encourage you you know one thing that I've always told my boys um, all growing up and, and I will tell you as well is that there's no such thing as can't that's a word that I didn't really like to hear from them because if we put our minds to th something and we do our best. There's really nothing that we can't do in this life. And the other thing I was told them was, if you can't say something nice, don't say anything at all. And so I would say the same thing to myself and all of us, that um, let's be kind and loving and um, reach out to those around us with love and bring some peace to this world. Um, we are, we are in dire need of that right now. A dire need of coming together as a people and loving each other and helping each other and, and finding ways to build up the families within our society, the family unit as a whole, and you know, good values of, of doing the right thing and, and being you know, loving to others and um, upright citizens of this of this world and so um, anyway thank you again for all of your support and if you haven't already if you could please subscribe I hit a milestone recently and uh, I want to extend my gratitude to all of you for helping with that um, I reached the 10,000 subscriber mark and as I mentioned before it's not all about having subscribers but um, it does help to uh, you know increase my group of friends that um, that I'm able to share my reactions with and and to learn more about so I enjoy hearing your comments and and learning more about each of you and and you know, where you're at it's it's amazing to hear from people from around the world I love to to hear from people from you know other parts of the world and um, get a view into their lives and and so thank you for that and um, Take care of yourselves.